What's up guys, Roto's up here, and today uh, I've got a cold, so my voice might sound a little strange, but we are doing level 120 life PvP here on Wiz. So we've got, let's go over the stats real quick. So we've got 109 damage, 56 universal resist with 52 universal flat resist, uh, 67 to ice specifically, and 72 to storm. Uh, we also have 6 universal accuracy with 17 to life. Uh, we have a 61% critical rate, which is pretty good. Uh, very little block. Yeah, 10%. 33% uh, armor piercing and 30% incoming, 31% outgoing, which is also pretty powerful. Uh, as well as 100% power pip chance, 6% uh, bonus to shadow pips, and 320 pip conversion, which converts over to 12%. So, uh, with that being said, let's go over the deck as well, real quick. So we pack three stun blocks, some tower shields, uh, different enchants, some set shields. Uh, we have three guardian spirit. That's really good, because especially like when we crit a guardian spirit, we come back with like thirty seven hundred health. <laughs> so it's pretty wild. Uh, of course, we got some hungry cat, a uh, single leprechaun in here, because I don't know. Sometimes they're helpful. Uh, Lamasu's weavers a few different blades as you can see here because sometimes we will blade stack and do uh spiny sword but that's very rare uh we also have a bunch of satyr some infalls which i'm thinking about switching these for maybe a different heal or something because i haven't really found myself using infall that very i don't know i'm, I'm i don't know i don't know none of that was english but it's okay so i don't know i just don't think that infall is really that helpful but we might keep it in because it is helpful if they're using like fortify or something uh we also have some like i said some spirit blades uh shadow strikes and you know some cards we get from side here going into the side deck though we have again more tower shields a gnomes for the life 1v1 matchup because gnomes are really strong against life we also have three hungry cats uh two leprechauns you know, some more life blades, Lamasu, some weavers, some healing, uh, and then getting into some of the more kind of uh, technical cards. We have life scarab, brown spider, uh, triages, a couple more spinies, and two myth banshees, because myth banshees can be nice for comboing and breaking shields and stunning. So, with that all being said, uh, kind of an overview of the strategy here as I join the rank ladder. Uh, you're kind of just doing damage, and the fact that you have such high critical means that you're very often critical in heals, and that's a good thing as well, because a critical heal does a lot. Like, I think a critical TC Seder with this setup does about 3,700, and that's really good. So, for four pips, we can heal for 3,700. That's, that's like how much a jade heals for and we're not jading we're hitting so uh it's really strong but yeah i'll cut it to when we get our first match but i'll see you guys then all right so we got our very first match going up against blaze raven runner who oh you know i have versed this guy before actually um i think he beat me too because right now we're at 12 and 3 with our record, and uh, he beat me going first the last time. I don't see him beating me again, though, because I know what his strategy is now. Uh, basically, the first time that I played him, he blade stacked for like a million turns, and he even used the. It's like a card that the pet gives where you get a. It's very similar to like Storm's Supercharge. But instead of it being a storm spell, it's death. So it's very similar to that. So he had like 150% blade on. It was crazy. But uh, anyway, so basically what he did, he had all these blades on. And then he shriked. And then shattered. And then it got rid of all my absorbs, all my... It got rid of everything. So 
and since I was going second, I didn't really have any sort of time to react to it, so I lost <laughs> because he one-shot me with the Cthulhu, and then when I revived, I still had no health because he put up a Doom, and it was just a big mess. So I'm going to try and look for something here. We're really not finding anything, though, which kind of sucks. Um, I guess we'll just go for this and see if we can get the May cast. Wow. We just got a critical with that storm wand. Uh, is he putting up a life shield now? No. Okay, so it looks like he's still going for that death strategy. So that's fine. We just need to keep that in mind when we're doing stuff. And sort of have a death shield in hand in case he ever decides to go for something. As well as triage. Triage is going to be pretty important as well. Uh, but let's see what he's doing here. So, okay, yeah. He's putting up a life shield. That's fine. Uh, what we're going to do in response to that, I think, is probably the life scarab here. And we're going to see what we can find. So, actually, I think I'm going to brown scarab. Or what? No, not brown scarab. Brown spider. That makes a lot more sense here. So we'll brown spider and get uh, our bubble into play. And then I think, dep I mean, we'll see what happens, right? Because if we get something really good next, then I'll probably just use cat. But if we don't get cat, then that's not a big deal. We'll do something else here. Uh, but he's putting up another shield. Okay. It's pretty smart, actually. Knowing that we would probably be attempting to break the one he put up initially. So I'm going to start drawing, though, trying to find cat. We still haven't even found a Guardian Spirit either, which kind of sucks. But we'll go for the May cast again here uh, and see if we can get it. Because if we can put a Life Trap on him, that would be fantastic right now. But I'm sure any minute here he's going to be going into Shrike. Wow, he's still not doing anything. Okay. So, okay, so we did find Cat. I think what we're going to do here is just go for the spiny because it'll do fair damage especially now that we have the infall up and after that we can go for a cat or i mean it really just depends on what he does okay we also got the crit so that's nice but yeah this should do a fair amount of damage on the overtime as long as he doesn't block uh but yeah so the base hit did a thousand and then that overtime is doing another 900 per round so that's pretty good so here we see him use that death plate I was telling you guys about. So he's clearly going for a similar strategy to when I last faced him. But the issue this time is that I know what he's doing. And I'm going to easily be able to counter it here. Because I'm just going... going I'm, I don't know. I'm going to go into Shrike. Or do I really even need to go into Shrike? You know what? I don't need to go into Shrike. I'm just going to Cat, because we have a completely open Cat with the damage bubble out. And then... This should be game, to be perfectly honest. Because this is going to do a lot of damage, even without the crit. Because we have a damage bubble out and the infall. So, this is going to do mass. And the overtime is going to be doing another 900. And we got the crit. Yeah, this game's over. <laughs> he's He's done. <laughs> Yeah, 4,600 on the crit. That's wild. So it looks like he did not get me this time with his uh, blade stacking strategy. Part of the reason I even lost the last one is because he, I just wasn't pulling anything of value. And then when he did the shatter, I was like, I was completely not expecting it at all. So... Yeah, but we'll catch you guys in the next match. <laughs> All right, so we got our next and final match. Going up against Wolf Ghost Rider, an acclaimed brawler, and I'm assuming a fire wizard. So this could get kind of scary because we're not warded to fire, and fire is really strong. So it looks like he's going first here. Uh, we don't have the best hand, but it's not terrible either. Uh, I'm going to get rid of a lot of this. Yeah, I'll get rid of... Mm. 
I'll keep the life wand in hand for now, and I think we'll just stun block because we really do not want him to be able to uh, uh, combo us with a king art because that would really suck. So we'll just put some stun blocks on right now, and I'm hoping you'll luminous this turn. Yeah, okay, so we got the luminous. So we'll use Luminous. I don't see us needing to reshuffle this match, so I think I'm going to throw away that second reshuffle. Uh, start looking for maybe a shield or something, because we don't really have a whole lot in our hand right now. But um, he does have the open FFA, but I don't think that he's going to go for it, because I, just, I get the feeling that he's going to... Oh, well, maybe he is. Oh, okay, well, he put a weakness on us. Okay, so we'll just put a weakness right back onto him with this. Uh, wow, okay, well, we pierce his entire resist, so that's something. Uh, can we get a shadow pip, though? Because I don't like him hogging all the shadow pips. That's not nice. So he's probably going to take off that weakness this turn, so I think what I'm going to do is maybe get rid of this that tower shield and... I don't really need a life blade at the moment. I think I'm just gonna I'm digging really hard here, but I don't think I need most of what I have. Okay, so he puts on another shield. That's fine. Um we're just gonna take that off with Weaver, probably. Uh so we have a lot here. I think I'm gonna do this, get rid of this. And I think right now I'm gonna put on the Guardian Spirit because uh, I'm kinda scared. Cause I, and I want to be able to get the revive. Maybe he won't take off his weakness and the shield right now, but I feel like... Oh, well, he's not. That's interesting. Okay, well, that is uh, apparently how he's playing it. So we're going to get the Guardian Spirit going here. Please give me a revive. Or, pff, yes, okay, okay, we got the crit. We got the crit. We're in business, boys. So even if I die, we are coming back with a vengeance here. Uh, I think right now, since he's most likely going to go for an Ifrit, uh, ooh, that would have been a <laughs> that would have been a nice card if he didn't put on the stun blocks. Uh, I'll get rid of this since we got that. Uh, honestly, right now I'm just going to fire shield because he's probably going to either fire beetle or elf. That's what I would do if I was in his position. So yeah, he's just going to fire beetle here. So. We're kind of in a rough spot because we do have a fire shield on, but that's all we've really got going. So I don't know if he's bold enough to Ifrit either, because he might be. I It really wouldn't put me past him if he decides to Ifrit, but uh, it would be a little surprising, that's for sure. So, okay, we've got another Lamasu, so I'll get rid of this one. Uh, ooh, yikes. Uh, we okay. That's what I was looking for. I just wanted a weaver. I have a medium suspicion, <laughs> whatever that means, that he is going to use Efreet this turn. So okay, yeah. He went for the Efreet because he was trying to predict the. Um, he was trying to predict, I think, the cat, but, wow, that did a lot. Uh, we honestly might be dead this turn, depending on what happens, because that just did way more damage than I anticipated. He does have a weakness on him now, but I don't know if that's going to be able to hold him off here, because he will have access to FFA, and I'm assuming he's going to be using that. But uh, So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to start looking for heals. So I think I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to Seder right now, because no matter what, we know that he's hitting me. That's a given. He will be hitting me. Uh, and after he comes out of Shrike, if he uses FFA, he's going to have four pips, assuming he doesn't get a new pip. So we'll see what happens here. I don't know what he's going to do, though. Okay, yeah, so he used FFA. Uh, this is going to do a lot of damage on us. If he criticals... Okay, he didn't get a critical, so... It's kind of up in the air whether or not we die. The weakness is going to help out a lot here. Do we tank? Yes, okay, we tank. Yeah, if it wasn't for that weakness, we would have been dead. But thankfully, we got... Wait, what is this? 
What? The pet has steel ward? Yo, what is going on here? Did he just try and use... <laughs> what? Did he just try and use shatter? What is this pet? I'm so confused. Okay, nice. We got the critical. So that'll be a nice big heal for 3,700. Uh, so we need to shield up here. We still have a cat. So what I think we're going to do is... Damn, he has another shadow pip too. This just isn't fair. How do we even do anything against this? Uh, okay, so we have that. I'm not going to use the Lamasu. Okay, I'm just going to shield here and see what he does. Okay, so he's also shielding. Uh, I don't quite agree with that move because he had an open scimitar with two fire traps. Oh my gosh, dude, this pet's going to be the death of me. He has an open FFA now with two shields. I mean, and he has two shadow pips. I don't know what to do here. This is a bad, this is a real bad position because I'm just going to cat here. I don't know what else to do because he's, what? Why would he pass? I, I have no understanding for why he passed, but maybe he's trying to like combo it or something. I don't know. I don't like hitting him with a shield on, but I mean, I have to. There's, I have no other choice. So, I mean, that did decent damage. And I don't think he's going to be able to do anything to us. Let's see. I just... Mm. He's put us in a really rough spot here. I think I'm going to go for the shield again. Or do I just want a life wand? You know what? I'll just go for a shield. Uh, what is he doing? He's using empower. Okay. So, I guess he's trying to... No, stop. Why is this triggering every single turn? Is that normal? Is that how it's supposed to work? Like, that's absurd. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, well, we're gonna Weaver here, and... I don't know, put another weakness on him, I guess. I mean, he can just strike, though, into, like... What is he doing? Oh, no. Okay, this guy took, like, a really long time to accept the match. And part of me thinks that he's set, because... I don't know any fire that plays Doom and Gloom inside. That just doesn't happen. So, kind of thinking this guy's set, but whatever. Um, can't, I can't get rid of that fairy. That fairy is really important. What we need is a brown spider here. I need a brown spider for next turn. I mean, he's just going to hit now with like an elf, probably. Or fire shark, whatever. Uh, this, I don't think this is breaking the absorb. No, it's not. I didn't think so. So, we'll just do this. Maybe we'll get the May cast. I don't know. It doesn't really matter if we do or don't, because I have to switch bubble. But, yikes. Because we are not going to come back with, like, any health if this happens. So, ugh. I'm really, really trying here, because we can't let that Doom stay up at all. That will not work. And I have to keep that Fairy in hand, too. Uh, I guess we'll just go for a Weaver here. Or, you know, we'll go for a Shield. I am very confident that there is no way on Earth that this man... Okay, he's just going for Scimitar. 
I am confident that this man is not going to steal my shield again. Oh my god, that's so wild, though. He's been stealing my shields, like, every time. And this is doing absurd amounts of damage, because he's got two traps on. Ooh. We should have just used Luminous. That was a bad call on my part. Ugh. Okay, well, there's another Luminous. So, we're just gonna get ready here. Brace for impact, and... I don't even know. I want to keep that satyr in hand, but like... Oh, we threw away all the brown spiders. Okay. <sighs> okay. Well, I think that this match is uh, most likely over. Because I don't see us being able to come back from this. Like, at all. Oh. He's got a lot of pierce, too. I just realized that. He has a lot of natural pierce. How much are we coming? Oh, wow. That's nothing. Okay. Well, that is, uh, that is GG because I, I really can't do anything against this. Uh, man's got so many shadow pips. <laughs> that pet was wildin' out here with the, uh, with those, like, steel wards and whatnot, and he was first. So, that was really dumb. Okay. Well, that concludes today's matches. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Uh, let me know what kind of PvP you want to see up next. And uh, have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next video.